Welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain how to merge two arrays. Nothing but all the elements we are merging in a alternative locations. Generally, merging means what? The second array elements will be added at the end of the first array. End of the first array. That is what general merging. But here it is in some of the interviews they are asking the questions. Please write the logic that how to arrange the elements of two arrays in alternative locations. Alternative. Here we are not taking the help of any other array because taking another array is easy concept. Instead of taking another array, nothing but the third array, temporary array. So directly we are merging right in the first array only. See for example, we are taking one array. Suppose A, this is array. And we are we are taking some elements. Some elements we are taking. Like this size is a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And some elements like a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We are taking. And next we are taking one more array. Suppose with the same size like a 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And some values like a 15. 25, 35, 45, 55 and 65, 65. See the final array should be like this. After merging, this is A only, A and here it is element should be like this, 10 and next one is a 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. 60, 65, that is. So, this is after merging. So, now how we are writing the logic to perform this? Totally, how many elements we need to insert? So, total 6 elements. So, we are taking one loop. This is the logic. For loop, for, we are taking suppose i, value starts with a 0, 0, i, is less than, less than, here it is the size of B, size of B. You can say any value, directly I am taking the value is a 6 suppose, I plus plus. Because index starts with a 0 to 5, 0 to 5. Here is nothing but starts with 0 to 6. First the control come inside, come inside with I value is a 0, is nothing but first one first one. So, here the 0th location element we should insert into this location. Insert into this location. First, we are taking variables. Already we are using variable i, i and we are taking one variable suppose. Here it is a j for inner loop, inner loop for shifting. Second one is a k, suppose value is a 1. Because, so now this is the one location, this is what k, consider. And here it is a size of, size of a is what, just any size, any size for example m, the value is a 5, is nothing but last one, here it is what 5. So, this is what m, this is what m. The two things we are taking, sir, why we are taking the k value 1 and m value is a 5. Here all these elements we have to shift by one location, by one location we need to shift all the elements. There is nothing but 60 will come to here, 50 will come to here, 40 will come to here, 30 will come to here, 20 will come to here then only you can store the value 15 here, 15 and the two arrays of course, here it is a A, directly you can take some huge size we are taking, A value is like 100 and B value is like 50 like this and directly you can assign the values like uh, 6 elements here and B value 6 elements here, but take some large size, sir why sir large size means what, whenever we are inserting, inserting elements so gradually the size will increase, that is the reason we are trying to initializing with some value. So, here I value 0, now k value 1, m value 5. We need to shift, sir, how to shift? 
टेक वन लूप फॉर लूप फॉर लूप सर जे वैल्यू स्टार्ट विथ एम जे वैल्यू स्टार्ट विथ एम बिकॉज स्टार्ट विथ फाइव फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन इन अ डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर सो हियर इट इज जे इज ग्रेटर दैन और ईक्वल टू के जे माइनस माइनस जे माइनस माइनस एंड हियर इट इज ए ऑफ जे वैल्यू विल बी स्टोर्ड इन टू ए ऑफ जे प्लस वन फर्स्ट जे वैल्यू स्टार्ट विथ फाइव दैट इज एम वैल्यू इज अ फाइव फाइव इज ग्रेटर दैन और ईक्वल टू के वैल्यू इज अ वन दिस इज द वन सो फर्स्ट वन फिफ्थ लोकेशन एलिमेंट विल बी स्टोर्ड इन टू सिक्स लोकेशन दिस इज द वन सिक्सटी and next one the value become 4 3 2 1 so here it is repeating that five times so five elements will shift five elements will shift so after shifting using the inner loop now this element we are storing here this element we are storing here this element means what b of 0 means what i value is already zero na no? i value already zero is nothing but b of i value b of 0 will be stored into this one who is pointing this one k here it is a k so nothing but into a of k into a of k is nothing but b of 0th location element 15 will go and store into this one will go and store into this one so this is what first element sir after that what we have to do see after inserting the element here next 20 here we are not inserting here we should insert in place of 30 so here we need to shift by one location by one location we have to shift and then this value we are inserting here nothing but here it is a k value 1 next k value should be 3 alternative locations right so k value is increased by 2 k equal to k plus 2 now k value become 3 k value become 3 and next one more point is a uh, here it is already increased na so now m value should be 6 m value should be 6 so gradually m value is increasing because we are inserting one one element means what the array size will increase or not yes so m is equal to m plus 1 like you can simply write a plus plus m m plus plus the basics anyway we know right so m is equal to m plus 1 so nothing but m value become 6 m value become 6 now here inner for loop execution completed inner for loop again it will go to that outer loop so nothing but now i value become 1 1 is nothing but 25 now we are inserting the control come to here j value starts with m what is that new m value is a 6 it starts with a 6 greater than or equal to k value modified right so k value is a 3 now k value is a 3 so condition true so 60 will come to here next 50 will come to here 40 will come to here 30 will come to here with this logic Six, five, four, three. Four times the condition true. Next, whenever it is a two, it fails. So it will be terminated. It will be terminated. After that, now b of i value. Now i value is increasing. Na? I value is a one. So b of one value, b of one value is a twenty-five. Will be stored into a of k. So what is that a of k? A of k value is already three. Na? Three. So into a of three third location, that twenty five will go and store. Twenty five. After that, k equal to k plus two is nothing but k value become five, and m value become seven. M value become seven is nothing but next here it is a k value is a five. This is alternative location. Now these elements will shift. These elements will shift. so one by one so this process will continue until all the elements all the elements get inserted this is the logic 
how to insert the elements in alternative locations of another array right finally after writing this one if you want to display just repeat one loop how to display how to display just repeat one loop like i value starts with 0 and i is less than 12 because here it is a total 12 elements are there starts with 0 to 11 i plus plus and here it is we are printing the elements percentage d just printing the elements of a of i that is printing the elements of a of i here we are not taking the help of any third array nothing but we are not depending on any temporary array right so we are inserting the elements into that existing array only so this is how we are writing the logic right taking the third array and we are inserting the alternative elements is a is a easy so that's the reason so we discussed in this way hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you all